Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob. <laughs> Welcome to my channel guys. <laughs> Great man, I've got an awesome video for you. It's been in the making and in the planning for a very long time <laughs> and a lot of requests for this video. <laughs> Yo, the guys have been like plaguing me for this uh, content, you know, so it, it has just had to uh, go with a lot of research <laughs> and a lot of work to get this done and uh, make it available for you guys. So yes, without further ado, if this is your first time, hit the subscribe right now, pause the video and do that and also hit the like and also uh, do share. I really appreciate guys. Great, so what are we doing today guys? <laughs> A long awaited video is how to add multi-fruit onto your map. So as you can see, we are here on a blank map. It's my startup map, which is available on my website. And by the way, guys, if you go onto my web, uh, um, onto YouTube, onto my channel, every video I put out has got my website site link in the description of the video. So it's very simple. I'm just going to quickly give you a browse there. If you go onto um, into my channel, um, I just want to go to my YouTube or just onto YouTube. Sorry, man, I should have gone to your channel there. <laughs> oh, my word. Uh, your channel. Okay, so you open my channel and then you see, pick any video, guys. Um, you just click on this little hi thing. Hi guys, this is Farmer Bob. Now, there I am. I'm saying hi again. You click on show more and there it is, my website. So you click on my website and all my downloads is so easy under downloads you just click on downloads and there you have the option to go to either fs22 or fs19 and um, just be patient my my internet isn't very fast but anyway you just pick the uh, fs19 or fs22 and all my downloads that i make maps videos and even this content which you're going to have to download will be there but i will put the link in the description for the download of the multi fruit pack so I'm, I've made up a multi-fruit pack, which will enable you to just put my pack into your map, set it up using this video, step by step, follow the video, and you will have multi-fruit in your map. So that's the idea, guys. <laughs> I hope it works out. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's jump right in and uh, get stuck in and see how it's going to work. All right. So what you do, obviously, I'm going to close the editor. Yes, let's save it there. Do this, you're going to download the pack and unzip it and in the pack you will find I'm going to leave this open as well all these files that you see here you're going to have to build all these files into your map to make it work and then we're going to edit them to have your multi fruit work on your map all right so first things first guys is um, unzip it then you will have all this on your uh, desktop and then open your map folder now I'm using the startup map, my own startup map um, that I've put on for FS22. This is the two times one. It doesn't matter. You can apply this onto a four times map, onto an eight or a 16 times map. Doesn't matter. Um, the size of the map is irrelevant. So yeah, there's nothing to change in the size of the map. Mm. I'm having some coffee here in the background, guys. So yeah, sit back and relax with me. I will suggest watch the video through one time. It's going to be a long video, guys, because it's a huge process. So don't be in a rush to do this. If you rush, you're going to make mistakes and you're going to end up with errors and things not working. And I can promise you there will be errors. Uh, hardly ever there's something that you do that's not got errors. So you're going to have to work through the errors and the problems as well, as you will see us doing in the video. Because <laughs> they're going to be stuff that we forget or didn't do or whatever, you know. But that's the purpose of the video. Let's learn together and see how it goes. All right. I've already applied this onto the Western Australia uh, four times map that has just been released. So version two of that, which is coming, will have multi-fruit in it. I've already tested some of it and it's working very nicely. All right. So the process, I'm going to just duplicate the process so that we, I can share it with you and you guys can get stuck and do it on your own maps. Great, so there will be a package called Farmer Bob's Multi-Fruit Package, and you download that. Uh, there will be a link in this video description. So yeah, everything will be there for you. So unzip, that's the first step. And then we're going to grab um, all of these things, except for the items to add. Um, let, let's start by doing the folders first. I'm just thinking now, one at a time, guys. <laughs> Slow. So in your map, find the place... Um, where it says uh, maps 
if you don't have a maps folder in your map, you see mine it says start map. That's just the name of my map. So your map will be Western Australia or uh, Joe's Farm or whatever your map name is. Create a folder called Maps. All right. So we're going to go to the map direct the Maps directory. There we are now in it, and then just drop all the folders that's in here. Let me just see. Yeah, all the folders you can drop in there. So I'm going to just select them all uh, one by one to make sure I've got them. Uh, what's it doing now? Just want to undo that. For some reason, I've just copied all my stuff. Weird. <laughs> okay. Anyways, let me try that again. I'll just drag select them. Drop them into your maps folder. If you don't have a maps folder, just create one. Just makes things a bit simpler, guys. Right, so the next the next step. Sorry, I got a bit distracted. There's a dog howling here in the background. Uh, the full types, fruit types, uh, density, height types, and bales, growth. All those XMLs, grab them, drop them in here as well. Right, like so. Yeah, let's have them in there. That's all right. I'm just doing it a tiny bit different than Western Australia. So it's why my mind is thinking in the background. <laughs> is this correct? You know, so yeah, just bear with me, guys. The info layer, soil map, GRLE. <coughs> this, this file is for your uh, precision farming. So if you want to add, have precision forming running on your map you have to copy this if you don't worry about precision forming leave this alone all right but i'm going to show you the whole process so let's copy that too uh that is going to go into your uh, uh map alpine that's my map your data folder where all your info layers is so just find the place where your weight files is and whatever whatever directory that is you're going to drop that in here. There it is now. Soil map GRE. All this is, guys, is a, a soil map. And what I've done is I've just used the, the basic in-game uh, generic soil map. All right. So that works um, very well. No problem on that. However, if you are running on a four times map, you might have to change the size of this. I'm not too sure. Uh, I haven't researched that but mind you, this was no error on the four times map, so it, it won't make a difference, guys. It is 1024 by 1024. Um, if I go in here to the GRE converter, we can quickly have a browse. Just drop that in there. Let's create a PNG from it. There it is. So if I open that now, <coughs> you'll see. If you can clearly see in the background, there's a, there's a, it's like just a template of, of different soil types. And it's 1024 by 1024. That's the size of it. Yeah, it stays the same by the looks of it. So yeah, that's the way. So now I can just delete that PNG again so we don't forget. Good. So you drop that PNG, oh, that uh, info layer in here by your data. And then uh, when I go back here. Sorry, I've now lost my folder. Western Australia, we leave that alone for now. That's it there. All right back into our maps folder so here we have now uh all the folders that is copied that is copied all right so now we've got all the stuff in our map now we have to start configuring our map now the first thing i want to do is show you the items to to add it's an empty text file at the moment but as we go along i'm going to add all of the stuff that you need to do separately so you can just copy them directly from this and paste it into your i3d for instance and all the things that uh, we, we're going to have to modify the main items will be the i3d as well as the map.xml file um, um, that is basically the the main things that you're going to have to add stuff to you know to uh, make it work all right so i hope i don't forget stuff guys because i'm working here blindly Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the Western Australia one that I've already done, the i3D. So I'm just going to open that with Notepad++. So you don't have to do this. What you're going to do is you're going to copy the stuff out of the, X, the text file. Um, so I'm going to find Control F. Just going to find, uh, let's use our file files, just one, so we can get to the section where they are pasted in. 
And there it is. So we're going to use alfalfa. There should be 10 fruits on this uh, pack. So we must just find all 10 of them. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's all 10 of them. All right. So I'm going to copy, um, copy those lines. Make sure I've got all selected. Copy. And drop that into our text folder. Items to add. Well, I've got two of those open. All right. So there you go. So now all you do now on your side is you grab, grab these lines here. Control C. And you go into your map i3d so that we're going to do now so we go into map alpine this i3d here right click open with notepad plus plus let's wait for it to open that's map alpine this is western australia all right and then on the top right on the top just make yourself a line or two press the home button press Control and v there it is okay so you'll you'll notice now it's created its own uh, few lines here for it and then what you're going to do is next to each number here 455 for instance you're going to just add two zeros so just go down the 10 of them add two zeros to each one of them what does do guys not three zeros just two stick to two zeros because that will be um, the go thing to go for so why you do this is when your i3d now loads into the map it will see that there's no other file id because this is a high number it's 45000 so there's there's no way that there's 45 file id 45000 file ids the highest i could see is under a thousand you know so to be safe we work with uh, uh, two zeros and then we're going to go copy the rest quickly control f so we're going to just find the next alfalfa right there we go oh so it's critical doesn't matter so I'm just going to copy this from Rye, from Rye onwards. So this is the only stuff you need to add to your I3D, guys. Copy that. I'm going to paste this into the text fo file as well. Control V. And what I'll do, guys, is I will put here on top instructions, like for instance, to your uh, oh my word I need to learn to spell <laughs> i3d guys there you go add these to your i3d and I'll I'll, I'll, I'll make it nice you know s sort it out a little bit and make make it look nice so add these to your i3d and the next one is going to be to your xml all right so we copy these all right from that and then into ours um, so you're going to type in at the search you won't find critical obviously so you're going to type in at the search multi layer so you just type multi layer and it will take you to the multi layer uh, where the foliage multi layers are you know so all you do now create a new line again home and then control and v drop those in there all right so from right onwards i'm just going to make an extra line there so i can separate them and now all you do is add the zeros again all right so what what this is is now the the ones that we've put in file ids uh, has to correspond to this oh control z there no, not double click um just gonna quickly finish this then we can carry on talking it's difficult to do two things at once you know <laughs> one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so there's ten multi fruit for you okay so what this do guys is if you now type in uh rye or, or search for rye 44600 is rye's file id so we should find um if we search for rye you should find rye is 44600 so you see the file id corresponds with um with the foliage multi-layer id so this foliage xml id all right so now we've added the multi fruit to your map simple as that guys now save the i3d don't close it if there's any problems in opening your map you can come back and uh, undo or make changes in the xml before before you save your map all right so we're going to open the map now and see if we can find the 10 multi fruits in there so now We've just basically now added um, the things. So 
console first guys to see for errors console first okay fail to open xml all right so there's still a problem with the uh, foliage raw xml i know why i'll show you now so you see now if there's any errors we can close the map don't save and go back to the xml um, and the problem is going to be i haven't i have to change this directory here guys because it's different from uh from the um western australia map where i copied it from so what you're going to do is in this 10 just we've now placed it in our map uh map folder so it's maps and then uh it will be alfalfa so it will be foliage alfalfa so there's foliage and there's all the 10 um different fruits so it will be just maps and then foliage so we have to add a maps slash in front so whatever your directory is you're just going to have to do the same with the with yours you know Co copy as so a control c control v control v control v and that's what's so nice you can come and edit and make changes until there's no errors in your um in your editor you know so that you're just going to have to make sure there's no problem so i'm glad this thing's happened so we can figure them out together you know now remember to save guys <laughs> otherwise the changes won't won't be applied okay so map alpine back in there into the i3d open it again in the editor let's just see now if it's error free we actually have to now see our fruits there that's what we want to see guys so just wait for it to open up good all right so i think everything should be fine now i still map foliage rye start map maps map alpine why is it going to maps alpine foliage rye xml okay let me just check what's going on here uh back to the back to the thing here oh you know what guys you know what you know what you know what you know what i see the problem let us not put it in the maps folder guys move all your stuff to your place where your i3d is because otherwise it's going to become become very confusing and i like to keep things simple you know so do this guys instead of copying all those folders and files to your um, maps folder just save that there let us move it um, just going to close this without saving and then go into our maps folder grab everything that you've copied uh, except obviously now for my map alpine take all of those control c i oh know x sorry um and drop them into your folder the folder where your map i3d is because the map i3d works from here because otherwise what you're going to do you're going to have to put dot dot forward slash um before the folder to go one one directory back so i i, I would rather you not have that kind of issues so control v paste it in here there you go so now everything is in the same place as the map xml as well as the i3d that's a much better plan guys so stick to that rule and all should be well so if we open now our i3d it should just find it all in place all happy and all working <laughs> great <laughs> sorry for that guys but that's a part of learning you know and uh, i'm glad that happens on the video i want to leave that in there so that you guys can see if you have the same problem there you can now immediately see it's loaded uh, the i3 the, the i3ds for rye spelled all 10 of them all right so if we now go to um our foliage layers here farmlands um deco foliage here we go you should find all your multi-fruit in there now they spelled critical millet so now you can actually paint them on the map like for instance if i want to now paint triticale c uh make it to uh green big that will be large almost ready to harvest there it is so you can actually now test um all of the different stages there it is 
you see a nice green big all right so i'm not going to save um because what you need to do is i've made changes to the map now which i don't want to do but i want to just reopen it now that we know that there's no errors we can open it up and then just save the i3d what it's going to do then i'm going to show you now it's going to rearrange your file ids and remove that two zeros that we've put in front Okay, just make sure that there's no errors, guys, because you don't want to save your map with any errors. Okay, so there we go. Now we save the map, and now you're going to see immediately when I go back to the, X, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the notepad file. There you go, it's finished saving. You'll see now if I go back here to the notepad file, it's going to say it has changed. So you're going to say, and look now, this is the old one, and if I say yes to reload it, it's rearranged all the file IDs. Control F, we find dry. You'll see now it's given it a new number and it also changed the correspondent one in the multi layer. So if I go there, there it is 14. You see, so the, the editor has rearranged all our I th uh, um, file IDs and sorted out the whole I3Ds so that it works correctly. Great, so now believe it or not, we're done with the app map I3Ds. We're not going to work in there again. The next step, guys, um, the next step is to go into your um, map XML. All right. Now, there's a few things in here that we need to edit. And in order to do that, I want to open Western Australia's map XML and just copy the changes for you so it makes it simple and easy. Uh, so I'm going to quickly run through them density to see which ones is there to change. There was a few. Game hotspot, full types, fruit types. All right. This is the first things you're going to have to do. In your map, you will find that your full types, spray types, and fruit types, uh, as well as the density map I types, is, is edited out like that. So what you can do is grab these. I'm going to copy them. Control C. And the bales. The bales, guys. Um, that's also in your XML. I'm going to copy that. Drop it into our text. So just going to add add these to your uh, map.xml <coughs> and edit. Oh well, I'm just going to don't have to say that. You're going to have to do it anyway, like the video shows you. All right, so there you are. Back in here. So now we have, um, why do I have full types? I've got different full types in here. Maps full types at XML. What have I changed on this? Can't remember. Um, so anyway, guys, just come in here, just above that. Drop in here, control V. And now the same thing is going to um, account for this from the XML. The directory will be there's no directory for it so it should immediately find in the same directory default types fruit types density height types and and bales so let's just check if that is the same in our actual thing so it's maps maps alpine we should have now full types fruit types maps fruit types maps full types i'm just concerned why did i have a Oh, it's data. I've used the in-game one. For some reason, this is highlighted. It shouldn't be. Um, I'm just going to un undo those. So make sure, guys, that you also, like me, don't have duplicates. But I think that's why it's happening, so that we can be all aware of that, you know. I'll just edit it out. All right. So you've <coughs> now got custom full types, fruit types, and height types now the height types guys is to add more um, height types to your map so you can tip on ground you know if, if you don't add the height types you can't tip on ground so if you open that map density map height types you'll see there it's got for all all the um, fruits um, it's got extra height types you have to add that in all right so here we go um, the next thing to do is uh, back into the XML, no, to the folder. Oh, right, let's first go through the XML. So now we have the full types, the fruit types. Uh, we have to now physically modify the full types 
and the fruit tops I'm not too sure if it's both but let's have a quick browse there so open the fill types okay guys so what you do is you open your uh, map the one that you've copied the fill types is the first one we're going to edit so you open that XML and in here you'll find the list of all the fill types that's in the map all right so there's um, actually guys the 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 actual standard fruit that's in the game you can actually delete out of this if you want there's no reason to have it in there but just leave them if you don't want to bother with that so what we're going to do is we're going to go down to find the the 10 um fruits that we've added there's sugar beet uh here we go rye okay so it starts here by rye now you're going to need to change um the directories for all of these uh full plains barley because uh, what we're going to do is just verify that the image the the palette is in game so that doesn't matter but the textures um that's why i wanted all of these to stay in the same directory um because maybe we don't have to change anything here i just want to verify um, so it's HUD and then HUD full rye. So let's go back into the directory. So from the, the XML, we should find the HUD folder. There it is. And there is all the HUDs. By the way, guys, these HUDs, <coughs> I've just borrowed them. I've changed them. I've, I've created some. Um, what, 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 you can change these little icons for whatever you want this is just ones that i've made up and borrowed some here and got some from the internet and whatever so it's actually very simple to do it um just going to quickly show you if you want to change any of these icons they are uh let me just get this out of the way a bit let me minimize the western australia i don't think we're going to use that for a while open my map stuff folder in there's the gre converter um what I want to show you is the size of these icons. Uh, sorry, not the GRE converter. Where are my mind now? <laughs> I've lost my mind, guys. Help me find it. Uh, there it is, the WTV. Um, just grab one of those icons, just drop it on it. Um, they are DXT5 format, sizes 256 by 256, and map map 6 enabled. So that's the only things that you need to know about them. So if you keep that format, um, everything should be fine so the way to change it guys is so simple and easy open any one of them that you want to change there it is and you also see here 256 by 256 but you need to know the format as well as if there's mid maps and those things so go onto the internet find yourself what i've done i've just googled um critical icon for instance that's my search was critical critical icons and grab one that you fancy uh, for instance, I've done that one now, but let's grab um, What was this icon that I've got here now? That's alfalfa. All right, so let's do a search quickly here for alfalfa Alfalfa like so and then Google is so nice It will give you a lot of icons and then I right click save link or save uh, image as I Do it normally in my screenshots and I'll just call it alfalfa doesn't matter this is just temporary anyway all right there it is so now what i do now is i go into my screenshots where i've saved it open it up there is the new one in uh, paint.net by the way guys so now i've got both open i've got the icon as well as the new thing and then i just click on this one co copy it with Control c click on this one Control v to paste it and all I do now is I bring it over to make it look nice like that and click save on it like so uh, DXT5 super sampling is on mid maps is on so you need to be BC3 DXT5 is the is the format and click OK and overwrite it and Bob's your uncle you've got um, a new icon that's how simple and easy it is guys nothing too nothing too difficult all right so now i've showed you how to change them ne? so we were we were looking at the xml the f uh, full types xml if it points to the right directory so if the one is correct the rest will be fine as well so the next one is uh, uh, the palette that's fine that's just a palette where it can be stacked if it needs a palette and the textures is important all right so we need to find the folder 
uh, in the in the full types XML directory where, where this file is located we need to find full planes and then barley diffuse all right so let's have a look so into our maps alpine find this is the place where the full types is now we should find full planes there it is and then barley diffuse so barley diffuse should be under b barley specular barley diffuse there it is all right so it looks like you don't have to change anything there if you follow that first rule make it simple keep the files in the i3d directory all right so that does really solve a lot of editing on your behalf <laughs> makes life easy for you so uh, you actually don't have to do anything in this um in this uh, file by the looks of it all right so back into our maps at xml all right so that's our full types the next one in line is our fruit types we've copied these in remember guys uh, fruit types xml so let's open that it's not in there it is full planes map l point fruit types i think in the fruit types there's got to be nothing to add guys honestly i can't remember that there's anything in here it's just stuff configuring the fruit by the way in here you can change the seed usage per square meter if you want to make it use less feed in your cedar or a uh, seed in the feeder or more seed you can just change all of that characteristics in this fruit types file guys just for interest sake there the next one density map height types all right so there's nothing in the fruit types but let's have a look at the density map height types open that up <coughs> Is there any directories? <coughs> Sorry guys, I've just um, got something in my throat here. <laughs> Density map height types. There's absolutely nothing to change in this. So just leave it be. Everything should be fine. And then in our XML, the last one is bales. So open the bales at XML in the directory. So find the one that says maps bales. Okay, here we go. Now in the bales, guys, there's a lot of things here. This is basically to get your alfalfa to work properly because your alfalfa needs baling. So there's the big bale, um, the, oh, the alfalfa and the lavender, guys. So there's the lavender round bale and the lavender square bale. Um, the cotton bales is there. So everything is there to work. Um, right, let's take the first one. In the same directory as the map bales XML, we should find the directory called round bales and then round bale 125.xml. So let's open that. If 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 the one is correct, the rest should be fine as well once again, guys. So let's find it. Uh, round bales, there it is. And then uh, round bale 125. There we go. Round bale 125. Now there is directory in here right on top. You see. Okay, so each of these we're going to have to um, edit the file name need that map slash must be must be taken out all right like so otherwise it won't find the i3d for that so save it so we're going to have to change every xml in there just to be sure so the next one is 150 all right round bell 150 just to remove the maps save it I could have actually done this for you um, in the in the uh, package you know um, but just it, it's better to verify these things guys because it, it will give you errors in the in the startup of the game anyway if there is a problem but we're gonna go through that to make sure but it's good for you to uh, see what to do all right so there we go and now let us just go into each of these and see what's in there that's just the r3d that it was opening up all right so that's the round bales done guys so we can close all the round bales now the square bales so we open the square bales directory so in the same directory there we should find the square bales so back one folder find the square bales square bales round bales square bales why don't i see the square bales let me just press F5 here in this directory. I don't see any square bales here. Why don't I have square bales? I'm sure I've copied it. Tractors, effects, foliage. 
Oh, you know what? With that mess up there, it's dropped my square bales there on top, so I've never copied it over. Just make sure if it's the right thing. Yeah. Okay, there it is. Okay, so just drop this in here as well. Press F5 to rearrange. There it is. Now it's there. Alright, so in square bales, same drill, guys. Square bale 120. Let's just ver ver first one is square bale 240. So let's go down the list one at a time. I'm going to close the screenshots. We don't need that anymore. Right, so square bale 240. Find that XML. There it is. And then once again, remove the maps forward slash. Save it. Done. Uh, I think I've closed my thing now. That was dumb. Uh, sorry, guys. I've been um, distracted for a second there. <laughs> Where's the bales XML? <laughs> there it is. Uh, 220 is the next one. <coughs> Square bales 220. There. No, there it is. 220 XML. Same drill. Just go through each one of those. I think we can safely say that um, if you just go through all the XMLs and just change the, except for that one, that's the, the ones that's in default game, leave those alone. Because that is obviously picking it from, um, from the default game, so we don't need to change those, leave that alone. Oops, Bales XML 120. Just want to make sure we still have to come back to those as well. The lavender modules 180 and 120. All right, so the 180 we've done. Just might just go through the list. That one we've done, the 220, 240. We've done that one. All right, right. So now that you've done all those. Back square bale, that's all done. No problem there. Back to our main directory. <coughs> and then just go through the lavender modules. So that's our next one is the lavender modules. Open that folder. Find the XMLs. There's two of them. Um, and just change them here. Remove everything there. Save it like that. What I'll do, guys, is... Um, I'm going to copy these modified ones for you into the pack so that but you have to you're gonna have to verify them anyway so just go through them all just to make sure that um, nothing is out of place you know so open all your XMLs check the directories so we want lavender modules to be like so right so that should all be fine lavender square that's all the XMLs then done. All right, so now that we've done that, there's one thing that I just r reminded myself of here now. So that's all the bales done. Back into the map XML again. All right. Uh, so we've done the full types, the fruit types, the density types, and bales. Just check your um, map directory or, or the map XML directory for for bales I just want to open that up you see there is another line for bales so delete the other line for bales because that's the one that pulls the do normal bales from the map so otherwise you're going to have two bales picked and you're going to have a problem in your game telling you this there's a problem with some bale loading or whatever you know mm, my last sip of coffee <laughs> great just want to quickly run through the rest Okay, then there's some more stuff we need to copy from the um, thing for the um, precision farming. Now, this whole section for precision farming, you're going to have to grab that all up to precision farming there. Copy that. I'm going to put it in your uh, text folder as well. So, this is the map XML. So you're going to make a few spaces there. Alright, so there it is, precision farming. And you'll notice, so if we go into our map XML now, uh, not in here, go above uh, motion fix additional files. 
I'll just drop it in here. Make a few spaces here for it. Press home. Control V. As long as it's in the root of the of the um, XML. All right. Very important, guys. The soil map. Remember the soil map uh, uh, info layer that we've copied. Make sure that that folder is uh, the directory for that f file is correct. So we're going to verify now from the Mexic map XML file where it is located. We must find a data folder with this in it. All right. So we're going to go back to our map folder. And there it is, sure enough. If yours is different, change the directory here to point to this file. All right, so wherever you've got your um, info layers and stuff stored, it should all be well. If it's like mine with the data folder in the same as the i3D, it, it just makes sense, guys. So just leave it there as it is. Otherwise, edit that so it points to the right thing. And you'll yeah, you'll see just some added stuff there for all the multi-fruit for the precision farming to work. Obviously, if you don't have precision farming in your map and you're not worried about it, you don't have to do this. But I mean, if you want to share your map with a friend and he wants to play precision farming, rather put it in, you know, there's no harm in it. <laughs> okay, great guys. And at this point, um, I think it's time that we give the map a test. Just want to quickly run through, is there anything else that we needed to change? No, I think that's the lot. All right, save the I, the XML. I'm going to leave it open uh, so that we can test it. Now, my map is already in my mods folder. I work directly out of my, there it is, out of my mods folder. And I have my map unzipped. You can work directly with an unzipped map. You cannot use an unzipped map for multiplayer though. But you can at least do single player games and play the map. Everything in an unzipped state without any errors or any problems. All right, so it should work fine like that. So let's go and give it a test in the game. So open farming simulator. We're going to give it the first run and see in the log what problems we arises, you know. So there you go. Great. Let's test it out. Okay, so career. Um, I'm going to choose an empty slot. Very important. Never work on a safe game. Okay, here it is. So this is my map. So you pick your map there, obviously, where you've done the changes. Just going to deselect everything so there's no mods loaded. And then I'm going to open up my console. And yeah, it gives you a warning. You can't use the start startup using multi -layer, a multiplayer. So give it a start. And if anything red, there you go. You've got some reds going past. So that is the problems we need to solve, guys. They're popping up. So we're going to find out now what is, what is, uh, um, what is not... Uh, uh, um, correct you know so let's just have a look i'm just going using my page up I failed to open mods start map oh yeah you see i forgot to put the directory in there to these fruits all right so that's a very simple and easy fix guys um, escape escape uh exit all right so you just work the errors guys it tells me that i forgot to um correct the directories to that so it's in the map xml so here it is not seeing this file it doesn't find these files so all all of these will have the same problem because they are working the map xml is in this directory here start map maps Map Alpine. So do, do I need to now give this thing the whole Marigma roll? Yeah, that is very strange. Yeah, if you have to, there it is, store items. Maps, Map Alpine, store items. You see, so what you're going to have to do is now from your map folder, whatever directory you have behind it to get to this XML, you need to add in there. All right, so that's the only thing. So from start map, which is my map's name, I'm going to copy that. Control C, come in here. Control V and then just change the forward slashes map map alpine map alpine sorry no that's gr maps there you go oh my word there you go so it's maps map alpine and then the file all right so I'm going to copy this now up to the slash control C and just drop it in front of all of these because they're all in the same spot you know so it makes it easy so that looks like it's the only problem we had. 
right and then save very important and retry guys let's see if we can find um, any other errors <laughs> great okay so let's have a look interesting it's good these things happen on the video so then we all live and learn together you know oh not so many empty slots there you go into the map again deselect all the mods i should have actually tested without mods guys it's always oh my word yeah there's a lot of problems <laughs> ah, i think i think now all the f all the fruits has got wrong directories so let's just go up there so now that it found the fruits uh fail to low distance mod start start map full planes you see all of those need that little slash in front so we're gonna have to find them and fix them i'm sure there was more let's have a look all right so let's go right to the top of all the areas yeah it's difficult to see there guys with this this thing i'm just gonna click start on the map so that we can um just get in here escape confirm here we go now we can read properly uh, it's actually going to be much easier because it's it's running into um, one of those areas that you can't you can't uh, um, stop the script running you know it just keeps in a loop so let's quit go to the log and read the log guys that's the best to do so we go into farming simulator 22 um it's documents my games farming simulator 22 find the log let's open the actual log and uh, scroll down to the first era okay so just go hash that's all the mods and that warning texture you see so it's looking for this um start map full planes directly in the start map folder so we need the the maps um, map alpine in front of that so whatever your directory is we're going to have to find this now all right so um, where does it pull this from so let's have a look that is definitely in the fruit full planes it must be it must be in the fruit type so let's have a look all right so back into the full types it could be the full types let's have a look uh, full types, full types, full types. Yeah, that's where this is pulled from. So all this full types need to change, guys. Just want to get to the multi fruit section. Uh, multi fruit. There it is. Right. Okay. Remember, I said that it's not necessary. Uh, so it is necessary. Okay. So we're going to make use of the replace function. Yeah, that's the easiest to do, guys. And just change replace with one of them and it will do all the rest of the multi fruit for you so i'm going to show you how to do that it's actually very easy um, so what we do is we're going to select huds and the forward slash like so you're going to go control f and it will put it in there for you all right what i'm going to do now is going to go find next um, go backwards just to make sure that the last one is our last multi fruit which it is all right so poppy all right so then we're going to go forward again to the right one so just to make sure that there's no other huts that we're going to replace so i just want to see where where, where where the find goes you know because all these multi fruits are in uh, underneath each other so we just determined that that's the only multi fruits that it's or, or only fruits that's got huts selected as i have here you know all right so then we're going to go to replace and we're going to go back in here to our maps and just copy uh, this maps maps alpine forward slash copy that go back into our full types and in here we're going to go control and v and make sure now so it's going to take find all the huds forward slash and it's going to replace it with maps map alpine forward slash all right just before you do just make sure you have backups guys and i can't stress this enough make backups of your whole map before you do any of these 
so that you have something to roll back. I should have actually started the video with saying that. <laughs> A big disclaimer there, guys. <laughs> so if you mess up your map, you can always go back and start over, you know. Um, okay, so all you're going to do is replace all, and you'll see it's dubbed that directory in there. So now we're going to do the same with um, full planes barley. All right, so we're going to find... Full planes, yeah, we can attack full planes. I'm just thinking a bit, guys. Uh, control V, and we want to change all the full planes with uh, Control V, like so. So it, ne it needs to find full planes forward slash. Um, I just want to go back here and just find backwards again, just to make sure we get to our last. Uh, you see, you see, we can't just do full planes. That's why it's important to check, guys, because otherwise we're going to change these directories now as well, which is not good. Let's go forward one. So full planes barley. So these, the other ones, you're going to have to um, just change them one at a time, or not one at a time. You can change them one thing at a time. So full planes barley. <laughs> probably I'm just thinking can it probably be easier just to grab to grab that and just paste it into them control C just drop them in there control V like so it's just three on each fruit so it won't take you that long control V control V control V Tritical, control V. Right. Righty then. Maps, maps, Alpine. HUD full of Falfa. Oh, it's done all the HUDs for us. Sorry, I'm confused. So the alfalfa doesn't need the dry alfalfa. Doesn't need right for dry alfalfa. Carrot does it does need. Carrot does need. So just make sure you don't change stuff that doesn't need to be changed, you know. And I see the carrot now as a distance diffuse as well. So that will also um, need to be changed. And the same with uh, onion, because they are root crops, so they now, oh, I think I've now lost my little copy thing. Control V, Control V, and then hops, same with hops. And lavender, I think this is the last one, uh, poppy is still up to come. Take your time on this, guys. There's no rush. Just take your time and do it. All of them, modify them. All right, so that's the last of the multi fruit. So now it will find, hopefully, all of that. Let's save it. Let's keep it open and just give it a test. Farming simulator. Let's have a look. That's like rinse and repeat, guys. F go through everything. And I'm glad these things happen. So, um,. You're going to have the same problems, then we can work through them, you know, together. Make sure get the map running nicely. Okay. Deselect. Grab my thingamaboppy. Oops, it's still red, so still problems. So let's have a look what we're looking for now. It's probably not finding the I3Ds this time. So let's go back there, get, get, get an idea of the reds. Okay, so it says uh, mods start map maps map alpine had full rye. So it's not finding the 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 huts. So we're gonna have to go back into the fruit types for some reason. I've messed up. Um, we need we we've got the maps and the map alpine, but we don't have the the hut in there. There should be a d directory that says hut. 
So we got it. We're almost there, guys. We've got one error to fix. We're almost there. We're almost there. Right. So, so I think I've slipped up there with that uh, map alpine dry windrow windrow dry alfalfa. Go back to Miller Triticale spelled rye. This is our first multi fruit. Okay. Yeah, you see, I've messed up. There should have been a directory because the HUDs, it's got the HUD directory. There it is, you see. So it must be, uh, it must be this. Maps, map alpine HUDs. I've messed up, guys. Sorry. My bad. All right, so we go grab that. Control F, find. Uh, and now there's going to be a lot of them. So we're going to have to manually do the 10 to uh, fix them you know okay so it's not gonna the, the replace is not gonna work control V drop it in there make a forward slash forward slash and a forward slash all right so it's maps map Alpine HUDs and then the image all right so now I'm gonna copy everything there control C and just make sure you grab each each um, fruit Override. I could have actually just added the the HUDs in there. Probably much easier. But just make sure that it's working right. Select that like there. Paste there. And these things are it's it's very important to verify each little thing because if you make one little tiny little mistake and you're gonna run into a problem. Uh, it's alfalfa. Had folio. These alfalfa ones is a bit different, but I um, just want to make sure it's still verify that it's correct. Just like that. Carrot. Maps. Hut. Up to there. Paste it over. Onion, 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 onion. Just verify that one. That looks good. Like so. Lavender. Unfortunately, that's the process, guys. You have to just run through it and make sure. Because one little slashy out of place and you've got problems. It's not working, you know. All right, so it looks like we've got everything. So save again and rinse and repeat. Let's go back. Test again. Made a slip up there in the beginning, guys. If we did that correct in the beginning, um, where I put changed all the HUD files, then yeah, we would have we would have been um, smooth sailing. But now, unfortunately, <laughs> deselect start. Here we go. Oh, wonderful. Let's have a look. Hopefully now we've got no reds. No reds. It looks great. Let's just verify. I've missed that beginning part. Oh, no. we still got problems. Uh, okay, it says error start map round bales. So it can't find the round bales um, as well as the square bales. Mod start map once again, um, once again, the bales is wrong. So start map uh, round bales round bale one to five. So where does the bales get pulled from? From the bales .xml. All right. So let's go in. Exit again. Fix the problems, guys. Fix the problems. So the bales .xml has got a problem in it. Uh, okay, so I, it looks like we've got all the fill types now sorted. So let's just have a look at the bales. I did delete that bales, hey? There's no other bales XML running here in the in the map XML. No, all the bales is points to this one. Maps, map Alpine, maps bales. That's the correct one. Maps, map Alpine, and then maps bales. So in here. Yeah, there it is, guys. Same problem. So we just have to put that um, directories here in front for, to load these XMLs. 
Oh, so we don't need the HUDs now. So maps, map alpine, round bales, because all our folders were copied in there from the start. So copy that. Control V, Control V, Control V. Just add each one the right correct directories. That one we leave. Lavender modules, Control V, Control V. All right, I think that's our last, our last things to fix, guys. Let's retry. Don't think there's anything else that's gonna creep up. <laughs> uh, maps, map Alpine, yeah. Yeah, that unfortunately I can't change because um, everyone's directories is gonna be different, you know. So you're gonna have to modify those the same as I have done. Oh no, I forgot to, um, forgot to. Oh, there's some reads. I forgot to load uh, without. But anyways. I'm going to load all the mods. I hate loading all the mods. I've got a lot of mods. Alright, so what else? What's next? Something tells me the bales now still got a problem. But let's just go up and see. Uh, that's a normal in-game error. We want to get to these. Fail to load bale from XML map bales. Fail 4. Okay, so there must be Let's go to the first one. Error. Uh, map Alpine round bales. Start maps. Maps. Map Alpine round bales. Bale after the file could not be found. So yeah. now each XML, I'm sure we've modified the XMLs. Um, remember we've done that. So obviously we've made a mistake somewhere. So let's go have a look. <laughs> So let's go have a look. What have we done now? But like I say guys, it is actually great these things happen because you're going to sit with the same problems and now we can just work them out together. Alright, so we know these directories are now correct. Okay, so we're going to go back. We finished with the map XML so we can close those. Go back into our... and we can close this one, the log. All right, so back into our um, our bales calls maps round bales. So we're going to open these because it fi can't find the i3ds and these XMLs. Each one of them pulls and pulls the i3d. All right, so let us now put, just make this smaller a bit so I can see. Um, so that pulls out of round bales round bale one to five. So we find the round bales round bale one to five okay so our di directories here is wrong yeah you see it's once again it's the maps thing we should have done thought of this from the beginning guys so we've wasted all that time editing the xml's and not putting in the right directories so it maps map alpine round bales all right so you have to put the whole directory in there from your map folder okay so each xml simple and easy you just open that up paste that in there maps map alpine right save it so round pole 150 is done we can close that we know now where the problem is uh, i'm sure there were more can't just be these ones just this three let's just check the lavender modules again as well because these are also xml's yep it's going to cause problems it pulls that i3d so it's going to have the same thing save them so just all the xmls that we've worked you just have to redo them control v put the same i3d directory fix that up okay so that was the lavender modules um round bales square bales did we do the square bales i can't remember now but just just check maps Square bales, no. Control V. Must be maps, map L point square bales. Alright, so we haven't done these either. So 180. That one I think was the in game one. Control V. Maps, map L point square bales. Alright. Alright, control V. Maps, map L point square bales. Save. Ah, I can just leave it open. V 
square by our safe and then lastly that one there just like, yeah that's the in-game one so we don't worry about that one good right guys so <laughs> rinse and repeat let's try again and that unfortunately is the way you're going to have to sort yours as, as well make sure of your directories of everything all the xmls must point to the right things and the right i3ds must be found and what 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 so this is just how it is guys ah got that again my word i'm just freaked that because uh it it takes a long time for the game to load with that uh, mods as well you know sitting in the background and then when you scroll up it takes longer because you have to load all the mods oh wait i should have thought of that that's uh, in-game error I, I think i saw one there with the lavender module there you go so start my maps map up on lavender square by oh yeah you see it should be lavender modules okay so back into so one last one guys it's it's like um and now it's crashed my game <laughs> okay luckily we can do this uh exit all right um so the lavender modules uh square bales uh lavender modules so that is in our bale types is it where does it pull that There we go, that's a problem. There needs to be a lavender module there. Control C, it's not have the right directory. You see, it must look like that. I don't know how I missed that. But anyway, it's all in one directory. If you go into lavender modules here, um, it should find 488 there. There it is, 488 I3D. It's looking for this one, 488 XML. All right, good. So last. I think that was the last of the errors guys let's make sure this time I'll remember to do the mods <laughs> or disable the mods rather okay good stuff let's have a quick browse career in there in there continue deselect and then remember to bring this up so we can see any red things go by um, not seeing any anything yet and I think guys let's just browse through again backwards I think we've got all the errors that is very nice yep all right so now let's just go and test guys start uh, confirm all right so remember now I'm on my start map guys um, what we want to see now is um, fruits first of all if we open up here we want to see our multi fruit in here straw diesel flour bread cake fabric sugar honey canola lime rye there's rye spelt triticale millet lucerne windrows carrot onion hops lavender and poppy excellent all our multi fruits is in um, and your your silos should already be um, sorted but remember now, you're going to have to change in your map all your cell points. You're going to have to add your multi-fruit to your cell points. And you're also going to have to add your multi-fruits to uh, maybe your farm silo. No, the farm silo gets pulled from your full types, I believe. Okay, guys. So that is very, very nice. And you can see the little icons popping up there that we've made. Looks very nice. Um, so if we also now go to our crop types in here. We should have it in here. There it is. There's our crop types. Great. Okay, so that, guys, is all done. Let's just quickly have a browse there. One last thing. Uh, not credits. Quit. Um, under your full types.xml, if you go right to the bottom of that folder, you'll have all your categories. Yes. Uh, now in here your farm silo should be in here there it is um, I've already added all of these um, by the way guys in your full types you don't need to have your your default base game stuff you can actually delete all of that if you want but you're gonna have to delete it everywhere um, right to the top um, but I've just put everything in there so not to worry and the sounds is also sorted in here you'll see um, 
carrot, onion, all the sounds is sorted. So this full type is definitely sorted for you, all the different categories. If you want to change anything around here, you, you're more than welcome to, but I've just added everything for you. So it's a matter of just adding the file to your map. Lastly, guys, I almost forgot um, the very last thing is the growth, uh, growth.xml. Um, you'll see for your seasonal growth, you also need to have some updates in um, in the fruits and whatever, you know, for the multi-fruit. So there's your periods and everything. So the growth stages for, for the multi-fruits is also added in, in the growth, you know. So unfortunately, I forgot, almost forgot about that. No, not unfortunately. Fortunately, I remembered <laughs> when I made this pack. So Farmer Bob's multi-fruit pack. Um, I remembered about the growth.xml. Now, the only place uh, where you need to change that is in your map XML. So you open your map XML and just go control F, uh, find, uh, type in grow or growth or whatever, find next, and there it is. So you're going to change this directory also to uh, maps to your place where that growth XML is. So I'm just going to copy that because I know mine is there. It's going to go in there obviously and paste override so maps map alpine maps growth so that is where mine is maps growth should be in here there it is all right so once you've done that save it test it and all should be well guys um, everything should be fine great guys so i hope as it has been totally awesome and and um long expected uh, video and this little items to add text file i'm going to add in the bundle as well so that you can just um, grab it i'm going to just make it look a bit neater and then just follow the steps guys um, on the video then add these to your i3d and all of this you copy it into the appropriate places and change the directories in your um, map.xml that's why i put this here to your map.xml all right so don't copy the add these, just copy the stuff beneath, obviously. <laughs> okay, guys. Great, man. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. And uh, thank, a, thank a big thank you to my supporters on Patreon as well as PayPal. You guys are awesome. And uh, take care, man. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.